What's up guys? Charles Jamabe here with my last video until after my surgery, which I'm having tomorrow morning. Uh, I get to have surgery on my nose finally to have it fixed. Um, for those of you that have asked, quick little rundown of what happened was I was at a concert, someone decided to throw something off stage into the crowd and it hit me in the face and broke my nose. So that's why um, I have to have surgery in the morning to have my nose fixed. Not too happy about it, but what can you do? Uh, I am gonna, so basically what I'm doing is I have to have a rhinoplasty or a functional rhinoplasty, which basically is a nose job. Um, they're gonna fix the septum, they're gonna re-break my nose, they're gonna sand down part of the bump, the, the, the bone's jutting out, that kind of stuff. You can see kind of here, I don't know if you can see this bump, whatever. Um, what I'm gonna do is though, I'm gonna go ahead and keep updating you guys. Uh, so those of you that have to have the surgery or have to have like a deviated septum, you wanna have the surgery or if your nose is broken by something thrown into a crowd, um, you're kinda gonna know what to go through, what to expect. Um, I'm gonna do my best to kinda relate that to you. So this will be the last one before I go to the hospital tomorrow morning and then they put the IV in my hand and then they go to surgery for three hours and I have to recover. I'm gonna have my wife have my camera as soon as I come out of uh, the recovery room so that way she can see uh, and record what is going on and then you can see and kind of get a feel of what to expect and how I look from now beforehand and how I look when I come out of the surgery room or the recovery room. So that'll kind of give you a, a little quick little, oh my god, here's what's going on. Um, and then every day after I'm going to do a video where I kind of show you how I'm recovering and what's going on and what to expect if you have to have the surgery. But enough of my talk, let's talk about dreadlocks. Um, someone sent me a message the other day again and they were asking about what is the most annoying thing about having dreadlocks. I'm like, well, let me think about that because nothing, I really don't have anything that really annoys me about my dreadlocks except there are a few things I suppose that I had to think about and I was like, yeah, okay, I guess it's kind of annoying, but overall I love having dreadlocks. Um, but if I had to pick something that was kind of annoying, I would say this. A, when you sleep with dreads, because they kind of get on your face a little bit, and they, uh, they get all over and whatnot, that can be a little annoying. But, biggest annoyance is not with me, it's with other people. Because for some reason, people like to come up and pull your hair. Or they want to touch your hair, which is just really, really weird. And I don't understand why people want to do that. Um, it just makes no sense to me, because most of us have hair, and you know what hair feels like, and why touch somebody else's hair. So there's times that really get me in trouble, like if I'm at a bar or something with my wife and some girl behind me comes up and pulls my hair or wants to touch my hair and my wife's like, who's that bitch? I'm like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Um, you know, things like that. Or even like we were in, in San Diego recently and we were in a pool and these ladies come up and like, oh my God, we love your hair. Can we touch it? And I was like, all right, it was old ladies, they were nice. I was like, you can touch it. But um, that's, that's the biggest annoyance is, it's, I mean, you get a lot of questions like, you know, how do you do it? What do you do it? Blah, blah, blah. That doesn't bother me. I like I like talking about my dreads, I like smelling my heads, but I don't even mind sometimes if someone touches my hair if they ask me first. But a lot of times people want to come up behind me and just touch my hair or pull my hair or rub my hair or try to cut a piece off my hair, which has happened before. Someone tried to cut a piece of my hair off, and that was really really weird. Um, stalker? No, that was that was odd. But I don't know, that's why I have a little piece that girls wasted, and I'm like, all right, whatever. But um, don't touch my hair. So yeah, that's the only really annoyance with having dreadlocks, I guess, is the fact that people want to touch your hair all the time. Um, or pull your hair, or just, can I touch it? Can, oh my god! And then, then if you say no, here's the other thing. If you say no, no, you know, no, you can't touch my hair. That's a little weird. Why would you want to touch my hair? That's, that's weird. I don't, I don't want to touch your hair. Oh, you're so rude. You're so mean. Like, are you kidding me? I don't want you to touch my hair. That's, that's all I'm saying. Um, that's my only real, my real gripe about having dreadlocks is the fact that people want to touch your hair. Um, so that is it. Uh, I have changed my Instagram name. It is now just Charles Jamabe. I was able to get that. So Instagram Charles Jamabe. You can still email me at charlesjamabe at gmail. Please like and subscribe. I will do some follow-up videos to my whole surgery here in the next couple days. Um, surgery's first thing in the morning, so I'm going to have a whole new nose. So no more cr crooked nose, but, um, you know, whatever. It's got to happen. It has to happen. I have no choice in this. So please like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram if you want, charlesjamabe. Email me, charlesjamabe at gmail. And that's all I've got for right now. I will make some more videos here shortly. So uh, thanks for watching, and I do appreciate it. And I hope I live through the surgery so I can make another video. <laughs> all right, bye.